Welcome to this edition of Hawk Talk, brought to you by Nighthawk Vision at ungathletics.com. My name is Lee Glenn. I'm joined by University of North Georgia head men's basketball coach Chris Faulkner, entering his 12th season at the head of the Nighthawk program. Uh, we'll be tipping off this season on Saturday afternoon right here in Memorial Hall, 3.30 p.m. versus Southern Wesleyan University. Coach, thanks for joining us. And can you start by just telling us a little bit about this year's team and what it looks like? We lost uh, all-conference performer Ishmael Hollis, sharpshooter Lamar Richardson. So we've got a few new faces. Talk to us about what the Nighthawks are like. Well, you're right. We lost a lot, uh, and I think we lost a lot of offensive firepower from a team that, that was, you know, averaged 86 points a game and really put up some points. Uh, Ishmael obviously had a, had a great senior season, and Lamar, you mentioned sharpshooter. Um, I feel confident that we filled the gaps a little bit. Uh, we, we are young. Uh, we have some, some guys that we redshirted that sat out last year that I think are going to be capable of coming in and playing as freshmen for us. Um, and then we've signed some transfer students and, and, a, um, and a, a high school student, uh, Jesse Bird from Whitfield Academy as well, that I feel like can come in and help us. So I think we've, you know, we've replaced some of those guys we've lost. Um, the issue to me is, you know, a lot of these guys are, are young and inexperienced. How long is it going to be? How long is it going to take us before those guys hit their stride? Well, if we're trying to gain experience, we can at least lean on the guys that do have a little bit of playing experience. Travis Core has started uh, a good number of games, been through the Peach Belt rigors at point guard. Chacon Cantrell comes back after a solid freshman campaign. Uh, what do you expect from those two guys and, and even more deeply your returners? Well, uh, leadership, number one, from these returners. And, and I think Travis so far has done a really good job with that. Uh, Mike Vericchioni, uh, who's kind of the heart and soul of our whole team emotionally, uh, he, he's been a, a great leader so far in the preseason for us. Uh, so we expect that from those guys. I expect those guys to be able, like you said, they've been through some of the Peach Belt battles. Mm -hmm. When we get in those situations, to be able to kind of give us a soothing effect on, on everybody else. Um, Shaquan Cantrell, who you mentioned, uh, battled a little bit of an ankle injury early in the preseason, but I think he's kind of back hitting his stride a little bit. And, you know, last year I felt like as a freshman it took him to about mid-January before he kind of really got settled in and, and, and hit his stride then. Uh, but we expect him hopefully to get off to a fast start and, and be able to, because of the experience he had last year, to be able to lead us. And we'll talk about your newcomers here in just a second. Uh, four Division I transfers that come to our program having prior experience at the Division I level. But we also want to talk about the guys, as you alluded to, that have been in the program and went through a year of maturing and gaining weight. Uh, how do you see those guys helping us? I think they're going to help a lot. You know, uh, the two guys in particular, Ebo Smith and Tyler Domney, uh, who guys, that, uh, local guys that, that redshirted last year for us, um, in our preseason work, they, they are competing and, and, and right there in the mix with, with, with everything. Ebo, uh, dynamic shooter, mm -hmm. and, and then Tyler, who, who's very athletic and just kind of has a knack to be around the ball all the time. North Georgia is a unique place. It's, it's, a, it's a recruit that you have to sell. Uh, we can't just go out and get that kid that, you know, that might have talent. You've brought in four uh, very talented Division I players, but also fit the model of our program. Talk about their fit and how they're going to help us on the floor. Yeah, well, we brought in four guys in Sean Brennan, who's a point guard, Tanner Plemons, who actually joined us at Christmas last year and didn't play, who's a two guard who really shoots the ball well also, uh, Dylan Setsacorn, who, who's kind of a swing man for us, and then T.J. Williams, who's a post. Uh, so, number one, we addressed the needs of, of what we lost uh, in last year's senior class. But I think, uh, it kind of hit on what you said, we brought in guys that fit system-wise the way we want to play. Uh, and I think they all fit our very, very nice pieces in there. Uh, but they also fit our whole North Georgia environment very, very well. I mean, they're guys that, that are very representative of our student body. They're uh, uh, personality-wise guys that really fit this area and our environment, and I'm really pleased with that. Give us a sneak preview of what Nighthawk basketball fans will be able to see this year. Are we going to play a different style? Are we going to shoot a lot of threes? Uh, what's the general game plan moving forward? I think the style will be very similar, uh, very similar to the way we've played the past few years. Uh, I think we will, we will try to play up-tempo uh, as much as possible, uh, try to stretch the floor a lot with, uh, with our shooters, and, and hopefully in, you know, in doing that, so create penetration lanes for guys. Um, I, I hope that defensively we're going to be better. Uh, you know, we've spent a lot of time 
uh, in the off season, working uh, to to get ourselves better, and paid a lot of attention to that. And so far in our preseason work, I feel like we have been better defensively. So I hope we can create some more stops defensively, which in turn will, will help us offensively because we get our transition going a little bit more. One thing we're looking forward to here after last year of not getting to play in Memorial Hall but very rarely into the first part of the year is at least we've got a few home games here to get us kick started. Talk about your early part of your schedule. Well, early part of the schedule is very tough, you know, uh, and I've always kind of taken uh, pride in the fact that I want to play good people early. The Peach Bell Conference is unbelievably good. We all know that. Uh, but I, I, instead of kind of loading up early on, on a lot of people that we know we can get a lot of wins with. I want to play people that are going to test us. Now, that I think in the long run that helps us because it prepares us for the upper-level Peach Belt teams. Um, you know, we opened up with Southern Wesleyan on Saturday, who's a new team to Division II, but I think they're very good. Uh, old rival from back in the NAIA day, so we're familiar with them, and I think they're very good. Uh, we play Emmanuel College, who's new to Division II, but again, an old rival from the NAIA days. Uh, played in the NAIA National Championship game last mm -hmm. year, so obviously they're very good. Uh, and then, we, you know, we go to Limestone, who's one of the top teams in the country. We go to Brevard, who's a very tough team to play against because of the style they play. Uh, you're going to see a lot of uh, different styles early on. Shorter, who we played last year, going to be very athletic, I think, on par athletic with a lot of Peach Belt teams. So a lot of different styles, but I think that's ultimately going to prepare us. And, and the good thing is, you know, a couple of those big games, the Southern Wesleyan game, the Emmanuel game in here in November, we didn't have that last year. Uh, I'm hoping that will help us as well. Well, that first game you allude to, Coach, is this Saturday afternoon, 3.30 p.m. right here in Memorial Hall. You can catch all the action if you can't make it in venue at ungathletics.com. Legal and Assistant Athletic Director for Communications, joined by Head Coach Chris Faulkner. Thanks for joining us on Nighthawk Vision.